Good morning, sunshines. Welcome to my morning and night updated skincare routine. I'm still in bed, but I'm very excited to get up and show you my morning skincare routine. And I'll also get ready with you guys and show you a little bit of my night skincare routine just to sum it up all in one video, give you a good thorough explanation of both. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I have to do right now is put this hair up because I am not having a good hair day today, but it's all right because later on we're gonna make it look good and we're gonna fix it. But moving on to skincare, right now I'm using my John Masters Cream Cleanser. I prefer a cream cleanser like this one because it's not soapy, it's not heavy, and I don't really need a heavy or soapy cleanse in the morning. So this is good enough for me. Now moving on to toner. I own many toners that work really well for my skin, but I'm currently loving this Arcona Cranberry Toner, which you guys saw in my Nordstrom video, and I'm using it with my reusable face pads. Now it's time to get sun-kissed with my Radiant Glow Oil, which is a multi-purpose face, body, and hair oil that Derma E and I collaborated on. And in case you missed my launch video, Thanks to Derma E, I got the opportunity to create my dream product. I selected all of the ingredients with my favorite oils in mind. So far, the support you guys have shown me has been amazing and I've been sharing so many reviews and photos using my Radiant Glow Oil on my social medias. And finally, I'm here to show you one of the many ways that I like to use my Radiant Glow Oil. The first step is to shake it up very well because it has these lovely golden minerals inside that you definitely want on your skin. It looks amazing and it feels amazing. So after shaking it up, I apply about four drops on my face, sometimes less. You can apply more, there's no right or wrong. And it works great for day and night. And I'm also using this Derma E eye gel before applying any makeup. But before we move on to makeup, I need to do something about this hair. So let's do just that. So on days like this, when I don't wanna wash my hair but I want something sleek, I love this sleek low bun. It looks really professional and it's really easy to do. So I'm using a brush, bobby pins, hair tie, and hair gel, that's all I need. And I start off by just dampening my hair in the front mainly with water and then applying my gel on my edges and on the upper portion of my head the most. You don't need it everywhere. You don't need your hair to be wet. Actually, you don't want it to be wet. You just want it to be dampened enough to brush it down and make it sleek and put it into a ponytail. And honestly, I've done this hairstyle like twice before on my channel. So I was really surprised to see how many requests I got on that recent post. And for some reason, people were really surprised to see how sleek my hair can get by just brushing it. Now after tying it, I just wrap it into a very tight low bun and bobby pin it down, secure it in place, and move on to smoothing down any flyaways with this pomade. And yes, I use a toothbrush that I don't use in my mouth specifically for my baby hairs and flyaways. I've tried like tiny hair brushes before to do this, but honestly, a toothbrush just works much better. And this is what I've been using since I was a teenager. So it keeps everything sleek and it works. And now I'm ready for makeup. I'm one of those people that can't do their makeup without having their hair done first. So I'm starting with my matte primer by 100% Pure, putting that all over my face. I'm dampening my Eco Tools makeup sponge and I'm dipping it into my current fave foundation. I've been using this so much as you can see. It's the Kai Jair, well, I don't know how to pronounce it. Jair Waze foundation and my color is transparent. I'm assuming the K is silent, but 
Please correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys know how to pronounce it. But yeah, I really love this foundation. It's an Italian brand. It has amazing ingredients, of course, and it's really high quality, so it's worth the price. Now I'm using my Jane Iredell Duo Concealer, but I don't really use the other darker side. I just use the concealing lighter side to highlight and conceal under my eyes. And I'm doing it with the same sponge. I love this sponge because it has two sides that you can use for foundation, concealer, and it works just as good as the Beauty Blender. And to set that, I'm using my Honest Beauty Invisible Blur Setting Powder. I love this powder, it works really well. And I'm using it basically everywhere, but mainly in the areas where I may get creasing. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, after applying my Radiant Glow Oil, I'm still using the same exact steps I always do with my makeup, nothing changed, and it still works amazingly great. That's my favorite part. All right, now to bronze my face, I'm using my Antonym Baked Foundation in the color Dark. This is not a bronzer, but I use it as a bronzer because it just looks best on my skin as a bronzer instead of a full face foundation. And it adds a really nice warmth to my skin. And because of my hairstyle, I don't want to mess it up, so I'm using my hands to just block the powder from getting onto my hair and messing everything up, you know? I'm using a matte brown eyeshadow to add some definition to the sides of my nose, bring that definition back. I use a small brush first and then I go in with a fluffy brush to blend it out so it's not harsh. And I'm not a professional at contouring, but my only tip is to blend it out so you don't look crazy out there, okay? This is my favorite brow gel. It's the 100% pure long last brows in the color medium. It's the like one step thing that I need for my brows. I remember I traveled to California recently and I left this at home and I had nothing for my brows and it was horrible. But yeah, I love this brow gel here. Okay, I'm glad you're still here. Time for eyeshadow. I'm using this eyeshadow primer by Jane Iredell. Sometimes I even use this little pot primer alone because it has a nice shimmer to it. And I'm using two different palettes from Jane Iredell, Daytime and Perfectly Nude. And I'm starting off with this coral, beautiful, shimmery, orangey color right under my eyes from the inner corner to the ends. And now this dark copper color, it's like a burgundy copper from New Evolution Cosmetics and this is in the color Chic. And I'm using this basically all around my eye except for the inner portion. I'm leaving that part clean because I'm going back to that orangey color and then applying it as a transition from that copper to that coral shimmer. Also from New Evolution, I'm using the color Chocolate Mousse to darken up the crease and the edges of my eyes to give it that like elongated cat look, but not really. I'm just rounding it out and darkening the colors a bit to make it more noticeable and more defined, you know? And you guys say I don't use enough dark colors, so here are my dark colors. <laughs> And I'm also using a slightly lighter brown shade from the Jane Iredell palette and I'm blending that out with a fluffy brush, making it all smoky and everything. And we're almost done. I'm applying my long last eyeliner in the color Blackest from 100% Pure. I love this eyeliner by the way, I've been using it a lot in my latest looks and this entire look actually I've been wearing in my past few videos. Also moving on to my 100% Pure Long Last Liquid Eyeliner on the top of my eyes. I'm not good at showing this on camera but it's just a simple, slightly winged eyeliner. Moving on to mascara, this is the Honest Beauty Mascara. It has two sides, a primer and a mascara side, and it works really well, so I use it a lot. I'm using a lip crayon from Antonym in the color pinkish all over my lips, and I typically would leave my lips just like this, matte, but today I'm applying a lip gloss because I'm feeling it. So this is the Juice Beauty lip gloss in the color bikini. Okay, we're almost done, and although I already have a glow to my skin, I'm going to apply a little bit of a highlighter in my inner corner on the bridge of my nose and on my cheekbones, and this one is by Alima Pure in the color Luna. Mm -hmm. 
I remember when I said my Radiant Glow Oil is multi-purpose, one of my favorite ways to use it is applying it to my decollete area and just highlighting my body with it because it gives a natural glow. It's not a highlighter, it's a glowing oil that hydrates, softens, and adds radiance to your skin. And I also love using it in my hair when it's down and curly, but I could even use it in a sleek look like this one to add some radiance and shine to my hair. And whatever's left on my hands, I just use it to hydrate my hands and my cuticles. And there's a little hack for you. Now to remove my makeup, I like taking a Derma E wipe and then using the Rose Oil Cleanser and wiping down my eyes especially, but also around my entire face to remove most of my makeup. And then moving forward to the Youth to the People Age Preventing Cleanser. Even if you're using clean makeup like I am, it's really important to make sure that all of your makeup is removed and your face is squeaky clean before moving on to your skincare. After cleansing, I have been obsessed with using this Derma E hydrating scrub. It feels so, so, so good at the end of the day, which is when I use it the most at night. After removing my makeup and after cleansing and my skin feels so, so, so soft and just so good. And then to follow up again, just like this morning, I'm using my cranberry toner from Arcona with another reusable wipe and then applying a few drops of my Radiant Glow Oil once again to add some softness and hydration to my skin. This oil just absorbs super quickly and doesn't leave an oily feel to the skin. And lastly, my eye cream. I'm applying this Ohm Aroma Repair eye cream under my eyes and dabbing it in very gently and my lip balm. That is it. That is my skincare, day, night, makeup, hair, everything all in one. To see more of me, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm on all of those. And here are my previous videos that you may have missed as of lately. Everything from this video will be linked down below as usual. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, sunshines.